If you have a window between two two courtyards, which is four by four tvarim, and the windows are then ten tvarim the ground, then they have an option. Since it's only a window, so Marvich time they can make separate eruvin each chater by itself, or Marvin Echot. If they want, they can make one united air for the two of them. Pachs me arba arba. If the window is less than four by four tefachim, or lemalam me asora, or the window is more than ten tefachim off the ground, marvet shnayim, then they don't have an option. They're 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 two separate. They have to make two separate eruvim. Very marvin echo. They may not make make one joint eruv. Now, interesting alocha here, not brought down in Bavli. Hasrigi remati boli in a chabis. If there are um, bars in the window. Like a prison cell. So visibly Shabbos, that that means there's no access and exit. So therefore you have to make therefore you have to um, make two separate areas. but there's a rock that a window if you have a window which you may stick your head out of, it was large enough to stick your head out, then nobody's allowed to build opposite it. In order not to um, not to take away your light. They have to be distance themselves at least four hours and building a wall opposite it. So even though the window has bars in it, it still has that shear. So it's going to be large enough that somebody can't put, can't build a wall immediately in front of it. So why this isn't brought down because they have windows like that. All these windows have bars. The ancient windows in Israel? Huh? It's my, my daughter's house. Oh, nowadays. Oh, nowadays. Security bars. The first floor houses in Israel. Oh, 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 I have them. Yeah, they're all yeah, they're all Maybe. 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 If if there if you happen to have put in the window like to close it off temporarily, you put straw and hay. They don't diminish the size of the window. It's still considered to be four by four. Off of its floor, if you put in dirt and and and, and stones, the mati bar then diminishes the size of the window from four by four. On my Yosi Bar Boon, my Yosi Bar Boon said said Savim. If grass is going in the window, even though of course you can't cut the grass on Shabbos, right? Nonetheless, say Mati Bar, they do not diminish the size of the window. The window is still considered to be four by four because the grass could be cut down, right? It's like you say between in a window between two courtyards. These parameters. The kavasa shabin shnei batim is that true also about a courtyard, uh, a, a window between two houses? In other words, if you have a window between two houses, you have an option. You need to make one joint air, two separate air of it. Is that the same also by houses as it is by, by courtyards? I'm alone in. You said yes. It is. With the kavasa, a bechalon shabin shnei gagin. What about if you have a window between two roofs? On my way, on the morning, he said yes. Now I want to I want to mention this. What the Havim mean is here, because this is my Kiddush. The uh, the question is why shouldn't it work among? Why should roofs be different? Why should perhaps the roofs be different than than between two courtyards? Whatever one window works in one place should work in another place. Whatever window doesn't work in one place should not work in the other place. Yeah, but assuming if you need a window, then that means that there's a wall between the two roofs. So it must be just like the two courtyards. 
So what's the half a meter that it should? Why is it any, What's the half meter that should be any different than the chatzeros? Uh, so I'll tell you. I think of the half meter that would was that roofs should be more severe. I mean, no, more lenient. Why should roofs be more lenient? Because we said in by a chatzer, the windows got to be beneath ten tefach. By a roof, we have a mina, half a mina, a premise that we wouldn't need it below ten tefach. Why would you? Why would you? Why would that be? So what? So I'll tell you about in the wind, in the wall on the roof. Beginning of the seventh parak. No, not necessarily. We don't necessarily care about people on the street level. We don't see that we care about them. So what I want to say is that. In, in, above, on a roof, the admin is that a, a window should be good even if it's above 10 fucking. So connect two roofs together to make an air through the window because there's a mitzvah of Maki on the roof. It's a mitzvah to build a parapet around the roof. How, how tall does the parapet have to be? Ten fucking. So I might say you shouldn't allow a window above ten fucking because they have to build the windows above ten fucking in order to provide for the midst of market. That's why it tells them there's no difference. You know, if you want a want a window to connect two roofs, it has to be like a window between two chateros, has to be four by four fucking within ten fucking of the ground. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. Now, mal arev derech lulim. What about can I make an air through lulin? Now this is an interesting question. A lul is like a um, a trap door. It goes from your house onto your roof. So the way so the way with your Samach explains the Mars question, your Samach has like this. I have a roof next to your roof. Our houses don't connect. There's a firewall between the two of them. But I have a trapdoor leading up to my roof, and you have a trapdoor leading up to your roof, and the roofs connect. So can we make one a roof? Is that it's enough as a connection? There's no immediate connection between our houses or between our criteria, but there, each one of us can go up on our roof through a roof, through a trapdoor, and we can connect with each other on over the top of the roof. Okay? My life, they are or maybe Ab Mori, Rabbi Mori said, Machlokus Rabbi Shmuel. It's interesting. This is Machlokus Rabbi Shmuel, actually. The Tiatel we learned over there was a fascinating connection. Kol Gagos Sayyir Rishus Achas. All the roofs of the city are considered to be one Rishus. One large Rishus. That means you can carry from rooftop to rooftop. Shmuel Amar, our base assigned, it's only up to the amount of Shir of a base assigned. Up to 5,000 square miles. Rabba Marmatali Ben Afilu Kur Afilu Kuraim. Even a Kur which is uh, 15 times larger, or Kuraim which is 30 times larger. I think of those numbers, though I'm not sure. They, even there you can carry. Why? Because there's no limitation on the roof of up to a base or sign. You can even carry more than a base or sign. Now, let's analyze. Why does Rabba hold that way? Why does Rabba hold you more than a base or sign on a roof? So it must be. This is the way the Lieberman explains the Gemara. It must be that it's Mukaf Ladira. It's considered to be not limited by the 5,000 square mile limitation, but rather a full blown dwelling which gets as much as you want because it's connected to the bottom by a loop. That luck is if I put a, a window into my court, uh, if I put a door. I have, a very, I have something very good I want to say. What? No, but I have something good I want to say, but I wanted to hear it. Now that he's here. What am I supposed to do? Start waving. What? Not fair that my time we didn't get stopped on the way into the base matter. All right, what can I do? I guess we'll have to leave. The um, all right. If you uh, so again, if you so so Rav and Shmuel have an argument where the, you have many many rooftops. 
can you carry from roof to can you carry more than two to a base of sign or, or only up to a base of sign? Now the shear of limitation of base of sign, that shear of limitation is uh, is uh, also in a car puff. You know, a car puff is, is in the backyard of a house. You have a broad uh, open area. So if, if it's an open area without any residence in it, I'm annoyed that my town medium gets stopped on the way in the base matters. Sorry? I'm annoyed that my town medium gets stopped on the way in the base matters. We're <laughs> thinking of how to set hand signals or smoke signals. Or how can you be something more important than you, show me? So, uh... So uh, again, if you have a if you have a car puff in the back of your house, and that car puff is more than a base sign, you can't carry there. Except if you open a cor if you open a door into the car puff from your house. So now the car puff is to be extension of residence, and residence doesn't have the limitation of a base sign. So so if that's the case, you can carry you can carry me as big as you want and you can carry throughout the entire car puff. Now. By roofs, it should be the same aloha. A roof, which is the, uh, up to the base of sign, uh, uh, more than the base of sign, should be a problem. There's no loop. There's no trap door. But if you're a trap door going from your house to your roof, so it should be allowed to carry a roof even much more than a base of sign. Even, yeah, the door is open. But Shmuel doesn't start to draw such a distinction. Shmuel says no matter what, all you get is a base of sign. So what do we see from here? We see that a rule, a trap door is not like a window. Because uh, 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 the window between two chatzeros allows you to make the two chatzeros into one air. If a rule had the same efficacy, was as effective as a chaloin, says the Gemara, that Shmuel should allow all the roofs in the city, because they're all trap doors, because you must be able to get up on the roof, to be considered to be extensions of the deloids below, and therefore should be limited to a base of sign. Rav, on the other hand, argues. Rav holds, you can't carry Miller base of sign. He must hold that a rule does connect. A rule does connect between the house and the upstairs, and therefore, you can carry much of a base of sign because the house is there, the, the, the upstairs roof is there considered to be an extension of the house. Therefore, getting back to Mara's question, and Mara's question was, according to the way the Arsamech explained it, was if you have a house over here with a lul which goes up to its ceiling, and a house over here with a lul which goes up to its ceiling, can it make an air between the two houses now via the connection on the roof through the lulin? A coin will know because the rule is not considered to be a bona fide connection. Because otherwise you should be allowed to carry throughout the rules without any limitation. According to Rob, yes, we see a rule is considered to be a bona fide connection because that's what allows you to call carrying goggles throughout the city. Now, what's obvious from this Gemara today, the Chiddush for number two for today, the obvious this Gemara is that we can resolve the pre Megodim's question. In Simon Shin and Ches. The Supreme Godim has a shy like this. He asks, if you have a Chotzer, which is not Mukhov Adir, Karpov is not Mukhov Adir, was not, there was a resident, and he opened a window into it as opposed to a door. And he opened a window. Does it work or doesn't it work? So the Mishnah Buddha says, I don't know the answer, but it's got to be one you can get out of. Maybe then it'll work, but for sure it's not be going way out of it. But like the Yerushalmi, it's clear that it does work. It's partially sure it works. Because we're saying a, 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 a rule works to be mati, according to Rashi. A rule works to allow the upstairs and make you allowed to carry more than base of sign because it's like a chalon. Because it's drawing comparison to a chalon in our Mishnah. So if that's the case, clearly a chalon from a house into a chatzir works in order to make the chatzir, the karpa, mukaf ladira. And the thing is, he's correct, the Mishnah Bur, although he didn't realize that it's Yerushalmi, but he's correct that in that, in that it has to be one he can get out of. 
Because a lul is something you get out of, right? By lul, by definition, you use this trap door to get up to your roof. So by extension, I understand also the past, the chaloin, which open the karpaf into your expanse in order to make it permissible for the base of time, it's got to be one you can get to. Okay? I was very happy when I figured that out today. Says more. No, they also it's open. Sure, they also it's open. No, I uh, I call the trap door. Really, it can mean a skylight. The truth is, man, it has to be closed because of the rain. So I think it's a trap door, regardless. But the bottom line is, they don't distinguish between it's open or not. Okay. Okay. Again, I'm so very proud. I was very proud of myself for figuring that out. Pat myself on the back several times. Okay. Lo sof tovar kol arba arba v'toch asora. Now we said that the window has to be four by four. In order to connect two corners, it's got to be four by four tefachim. It's got to be within ten tefachim of the ground. Not all of it. El afu mikdas arba v'toch asora. Now kimishu kol arba v'toch arba arba v'toch asora. Even a part of the four by four to then tell ten feet the ground is as if all of it is. Now, now comes a very strange rishon. Not difficult. Weird. If the window had a perimeter of ninety six feet, quickly. What is that in in Amos? In Amos. Ninety-six divided by six. What? Sixty-nine. Between the windows, how large? Four by four. Four amos by four amos. So if the windows four by four amos, not just four by four tefachim, afilu koshu. The talk has sorry. Even if a koshu is an intent falling the ground, that's also cool. Kemosha kol arba ol arba toch asar. It's as if the entire four by four is within ten feet of the ground. Now Lieberman says clearly the only way to learn this rishon, I mean the name Moshe obviously goes goes nuts about it. Well, the only way to learn this rishon at a simple level is that the only way to learn this rishon, the only way, the only way to learn this at a simple level is that. Uh, there's a difference between a mikdash and a kosher. That if it's four by four tefachim, then even if it's a, even if a mikdash is within a, a, a four by four tefachim, then it, it, uh, uh, you still you need a mikdash within that tefachim on the ground. A little bit of the window. I don't know what a little bit is. Neither does Lieberman. But a little bit. If the window is so large that it's four by four, I almost know. Then even if only a koshu of the window is within ten feet of the ground, that suffices. Okay, a koshu is a hairbreadth. A mikdash is perhaps up to one point nine tefachim, right? As long as anything less than a majority. So the the way Lieberman explains to Yerushalmi, and there's no better way to explain it than I know, it's a if the 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 four by four amo size, which is astronomically huge. Allows you to have even a kosher within ten feet of the ground, and that suffices. You don't have to have a mikdash within ten feet of the ground. Paisagula, if it was round, vaya ba hekev tishim v'shei it sheish. No, but I never learned Yerushalmi before. I agree with you, it's very dachuk. But every other child of Shami is far more dachuk. So those who say that 96 is a marshal, does it really mean 96? means to 4 by 4 tvachim. It's just that those who say it's a riddle. <laughs> it's a, the name Moshe says it's a riddle. I don't know what he means by that. But in any event, who knows? Maybe we'll find a difference. It should be, it says, it should be, it should be, it should be, what about it was round? And the perimeter was 96. Circumference was 96. What's the status then? The more doesn't answer the question. New question. What if you have a window which is more than 10 of the ground? So you need to diminish 
the distance between the ground and the window in order to make one air roof for across both courtyards. So you can use Kalim, you can use objects to make the to, 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 to narrow the gap between the ground and the window. Yes, you may use vessels. Rabbi Rabbi and Rabbi Tabatavli on Rabbi Echdan Ain Mimati Mikalim. You may not use vessels. Time and Omri, they said in Bavel, Machlokas Rabbi Khir Rabbi Rabbi Shmob Rabbi Yosi. That that's Machlokas Rabbi Khir Rabbi Rabbi Shmob Rabbi Yosi Amo Tanoim. Chadim also once said it's all actually these are borderline Tanoim. The type of Tanoim were not mentioned in the Mishnah. The Gemara brings them down, but they're borderline Tanoim. Chadim also once said it's also Chadim Mutter. Madam Arosu Shemi Yishkach Vital to Lenu. He said it's also because we're afraid you're going to forget and take away the Kalim. Right? Well, carry them away. Hore Rabbi Echanon. Rabbi Barmario. Rabbi Echanon Barmario Paskin. The Mikhbash Kuf. Put a beam on top of the Kalim. That way you remember not to take it away on Shabbos. So I can use Kalim, just put a beam on top. Yeah. Beats me how we know that, but it's going to be indicated later in the Gemara as well. Right? There are other interpretations here, but that's uh, that's the way uh, the Reb Chaim Kanievsky explains it. Says the Gemara, Tani, Bakomimati. You can say anything to diminish the distance between the ground and the window. Bavonim, stones, Ilvanim, bricks. We will say it's an Egyptian ladder. Vushkov, as long as you you um. Nail it in. Good word. Nail it in. Rabbi Boy Bashem Rabbi said, it's, uh, the words here are reversed. I feel low kavo. Even he didn't nail it in. Vatani vuhusha kavo. Then we learn a bright so you have to actually nail it in. There's a bright so which said that. Says the Gemara. And that was the definition of the suit on the roof. And it's one that is really secure. It's heavy. It's heavy. Suri. Suri. Tyree and uh, what? I think some it's just heavy, not that it's embedded. Yeah, I think so. One of them is heavy, one of them is light. But now it's necessarily embedded in. So I would call for a bathroom. So in any event, what Tani Vu Shakovo? Rabbi Bo said, Nah, doesn't mean Shakovo. Doesn't mean you literally nailed it in. Vushiach, though, you designated to serve in that location. Sorry, you designate for that purpose. Hey, Rabbi Law, Kedain Tanya, Abushakava. Rabbi Law, Paskin, like the Bryce, who would say, Abushakava, you have to fix it with nails. Rabbi Yon, Rabbi Yosa, and Tarvein, they both had been said. They both said, Chad B'Shem Maruka, one name Maruka, and Chad B'Shem Ramnachma Yaakov, and one name Ramnachma Yaakov. Between each rung and the ladder, there must be less than three tvachim. You understand why? Because if between more than each rung and the ladder is more than three tvachim, then it's not lovely. It's not connected to the ground. You haven't diminished any height. Right? Furthermore, the, the, each rung has to be four tvachim wide. However, here we have a cool of Vamodim Mashlimim Lar Vamodim Mashlimim Lar Ba. The width of the rails adds into the four. In other words, let's say the step itself is only three tefachim more wide, but the rails holding the, the steps on are each half a tefach, right? So that makes up four tefachim all together. And we're going to explain why in a moment. Yasa Omar, Yasa said, Kufas. Now, Kufas here is uh, also a beam, although there's another interpretation here, but beam works out the best. Kufas and the Shnuz uh, Chos knocks out the tough from the next word. Kufas Shedrigoy. You bore steps into it, you carve steps into it. Yedrigo means you made it steppable. What? Right. Madrigos. Me might. It diminishes the size the, 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 between the window and the ground. Mikamakom, nonetheless, however, you know that's true. Ain't amudim mashlimim lasora. 
the the um, the the bee the, the 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 post. Let's say the 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 ladder itself ends too early, but the posts continue on. The rungs end too early, but the posts continue on. That doesn't do any good. Ah, we said it does good width-wise, so why can't it do any good height-wise? So that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, width-wise it works, because there's not such a slave over, because width-wise it becomes like a thick step. But height-wise, you can't say that. What does it mean? Uh, you can't say it became like a thicker step. You don't have a step going up. You just have the, the poles. That doesn't do you any good. So it only is mashlim very horizontally. It doesn't match. It's not mash, It doesn't complete her vertically. Okay. Rabbi Yasa b'shem Rabbi Boon Barakana says Thursday Moshe Mikoisel Arvet Falling Day Mokum. It actually can't be a ladder going in. It's got to be a platform. It's got to be a four tefach by four tefach platform. It's got to be distincted away from the wall, and it's got to be four tefach by four tefach. Okay. Rabbi Chizkiyah b'shem Rabbi Boon Barakana said, "All such not all of it has to be four, uh, 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 four by four tefach." Also, Shalevo Shemimaitis Asa, whatever step is the one which is critical in diminishing the hyphen that vachim, that, Tzirushatei Meshucha Mina Kaisal Arbot Vangidei Mokom, that's going to be more in forward track away from the wall. Meaning, that speed the match is forward track. Rabbi Yaakov Durumia Boy, Rabbi Yaakov Durumia, ask. I think he asked. Yeah. What he bought a wall which wasn't that fucking high, but only seven and a mashu high. And you know what he did with it, seven and a half high. The Gbiman or it's Michelin, you put it less than ten fucking to three twelve for the ground. So you have love it up to that beam. Can that beam or that ladder, whatever it is, can it now be Mimite the 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 wall? Can diminish the size of the wall? Um mut. So it is mut. Come at our McCorkles, ask him more. I understand, sorry. That's the case. Come at our McCorkles, Mishlashu Kasasu. There you say, love it is less than three talking. We call it our McCorkles, Mirabu Kasasu. But here you say, if your window between two Katsayers is less than four by four talking, you can't make a united air. Why? The moment it's more than three, it should be good enough. And you're saying less than three is considered close. That means more than three is, not, is open. So why you need a window four by four between courtyards? That it should be a window of three plus, three plus by three plus. That's why I ask you a good question. No, sorry, Mar says nothing. The Mar doesn't bother answering the question. The Mar says, "Ina boy makshachi kasha." You want to ask a question? This is a question. I mean, the question you just asked is baloney. Why is it because you just asked baloney? Because in order to be ma'are between two chatseros, to consider them one, you need a pesach between the two. Not just an open hole, which more than three by three talking counts as. You need actually a pesach. What's the minimum share of a pesach? Four by four by ten. So that's how you require four by four by ten. However, even though you ask the klutz kasha, says the Gemara, now I'll give you the consolation price. In a boy makshai, if you want to ask a question, talk in the kashu. Yeah, I'll give you a good question to ask. What's the question I'll let you ask? Hey, the doyfin shows uh, why do you have to bring a wall which is seven tvachim plus a little mashu and put it within three tvachim in the ground? Hey, the doyfin shah bar tvachim because you bring a wall which is slightly more than four tvachim. He gbiyum agbiyum in oret biv lifted off the ground. It should be shlosha tvachim chaser koshu. Level that's three tvachim, and put it within three tvachim of a stick on top, and let that be a valid diminution of the wall, because it's ten tvachim, right? You with the, the bottom is within three tvachim in the ground, and the top is within three tvachim of a stick. So that's a more very interesting answer to why that doesn't work. Yeva uh, Kai. Yevo Kai Demar Rabbi Yochan, let's say it's serious that which Rabbi Yochan said, O made by Cholo Mitzdarfin Larbo. That which is standing and that which is open are Mitzdarf to the Shir Fort Tvachim. Vu Shia O made Rabbi Yochan, but you have to have more standing structure than open space. Now, here on this 
that's called, otherwise the other problem which is called the Bavli Asi Avir, the Haigis of Haigis of Mavatli. The airspace on both sides cancels it. Now here you have that Buddha, if you would have a ground, yeah, four of the wall and three is empty space and three above the space. Right. So the three have to open more than that. The three on top is empty space. On top of that empty space, where you have just the twig. So then you say, Asavir Daiki Sovis Mavato, the twig. The twig is canceled because on both sides of the twig, there's more ample airspace than there is actual twig. So therefore, you Mavato, the twig. You Mavato, the twig. It can't work. So that's what it says. In order to this to work, in order to be able to have a mute by a wall which is less than ten tefachim, it's got to be seven in mashu and put it less than three from the ground. Because then there's no asi avir the id sky gets a There's nothing to cancel. The ground is larger than the air, than the hole, and so is the seven and then something tefachim. But if you add took so which is four by something tefachim, and in order to make it work, you add lava to the ground, which is okay. But on the other side, you add lava to a stick. Then the open air space on either side cancels the stick and your love it doesn't work. Okay? Says my mission further. says you have a courtyard between two, uh, a wall between two courtyards. Now fourth my wide means the width of the wall. It's a very wide wall. Aloy let me combo clean. The guys on the ones that can go up to the top of the the Oh, sorry. My first time they They have to, they have to make two separate areas. They can't be arrived there because of the wall between the two of them. How you brushy per brosho payrolls? If on top of the wall you have fruit, which they wanted to consume. Hey, Leroy, let me can be oichlin. Once on, once I can go up on top and eat. Very well, let me can be oichlin. Let me can be oichlin. Let me go on the other side and eat. Or actually read the matter. However, they can't take down to the ground. They can't take down to the ground. Now, uh, the, the, the Corbier and, to, to, and Pnei Moshe point out, can't take down to the ground into the houses. But they take down into the ground into the yards. Because we say, Gagos, Chateros, and Karpefos, Kulam, Rishusachas. You carry from Gag to Chater, from Chater to Karpa, from Karpa to Chater to God, whatever the case may be, as long as you don't bring it back into your house. Right? So the house is getting, the, the air is getting back in the house. That, that you can't do here, but what you can do is carry it down from the top. Just not to your house. What if the wall between the two properties is more than 10 amas breached? Marvin Shnaim, then they have to make two separate Eilvi. If they want, Marvin Echo, they can make one air because they have enough of a Pesach between the two of them. Yoyser Mikan. If the opening is larger than ten amos, then already Marvin Arshna Echod Vay Marvishtai have to make one air and not two. Why one and not two? Because it's no longer considered to be an opening, it's considered to be a breach. Once it's a breach, you have to make an air for the two of them together. Anything above ten amos is not an opening anymore, it's a breach. Once it's a breach, you have to make an air two air you have to make an air of two airs together, unless of course you put up to a sabasa which cuts them off. Okay. Why do you have to say in our Mishnah that the wall itself is four twelve wide? Can you picture the scenario in your head? You got the scenario? There's the out one surface wall, the other surface wall, and there's four twelve across the top, right? So why are we uh, why do we have to say that that that, that was four twelve wide? I feel in Rochavarbo, even it's not four twelve wide. So it says we're begin must need so hadod the basra. Because of that, which it says later in the Mishnah, each one goes in the top and eats on top, right? So, I might say, what? It's a ton of shoes. It's okay. Yeah, it is its own rishos. Now, 
That's the kasha, the, right? Why. Yeah, the maskona is though we 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 made it more of a four by four here because um, what do you want to say? I'm, I'm blanking out. What do you want to say? Yeah, what's the answer? Some reason I just got a blank. Uh, my mind just blank. Just a minute. Uh, about a few minutes, I'll come up. The key must need to do the maskona. Let me come. Let me come. Let me come. Let me Oh, okay. It's, uh, the reason why it says 4x4 four four on top because that's why they're now allowed to take down to their own Rishuyos. The Shus Pif It says, Elu oil in Mikam Boichlin, Elu oil in Mikam Boichlin. That's why they can't take into their court. If it was less than 4x4, four four, it's Vachim. So what would it be then? Welcome to And then they could carry back into their uh, courtyards and into their houses. The reason why they can't carry back into their courtyards and their houses is because the Rishus Pif Neyatsmo. It's a separate Shus Ayochit, which is not participating in the Eruv. Because there is no Eruv. So therefore, you can't carry from there back into your house. Into your courtyard, perhaps, yes, but not back into your house. Okay. Lo Yerachav Abba. So what Tagat Salacha, if the top of the wall is not Fort Vachim Wine? Rabbi Baba Shem Rav! Also, Lakan and Lakan, neither side can use it. Now, here it's a super Chumro, though the Bible, the Yushalm itself is not very explicit. Also, kind of gummies, you're not even allowed to eat it on top. Not even on top. You know why not? Because we're on top, it's a separate shoes. So everybody can come to that shoes and eat. But it's not a separate shoes because it's less than 4x4. Four four. So you can't eat anything there. Because we're afraid that uh, if we let you eat anything there, then you're going to take it uh, across from one to the other. Is that what we're afraid of? Yeah, why can't you do it? Ah. The mind's not working tonight. You know why? Actually, mine wasn't working this morning. You know why? Because you can't have muck of turner, she'll say, Yach. In her, she'll say, Yach. It's in Rosh Hashanah here, right? You can't mock up to Rosh Hashanah. You can have a mock up to between Rosh Hashanah and another Rosh Hashanah, but not between Rosh Hashanah and Rosh Hashanah. But not between two Rosh Hashanah. So what is this now? It's Rosh Hashanah, which both of them have a stake on, and therefore nobody can carry it. You can't even go to the top and take fruit there on top and eat it. Because it belongs to both sides of the equation. Okay? So there's no mock of two between the two between two and say okay. Right, but Zia Bashim Rav said no, Mutu Lakan or Lakan. There is a mock of two between two courtyards. And you can even tell now Mutu Lakan means now we can eat on top, you can even eat down below. So says my have a cash on that. How can you say that? Mukhabishito I say the Rabbi Bar proved you is no mock of two in Bay Rush Sayochi. Where did I find that? Mechavah she does it, Rabbi Boa. Taman on my Rabbi Boa. There, Rabbi Boa says, Rabbi Yudah B'Shem Shmuel said, V'zolcha v'nocha roshi mechitzas. This is my, I have a shusha rhyme over here. This is my shusha yochi. I throw on here, it lands over here. Chayav v'apotu. This is my shusha yochi. It has a wall around it. I throw something from my Rishus Aram over here, lands on the wall, Chai Reporter. Why? 
What makes the world should say Yachi? It's not Dalit Dalit. The wall's not Dalit Dalit. No, the inside is. How high is the wall? Is it more than ten fucking. But it's not Dalit Dalit. The inside's ten and Dalit Dalit Dalit. What's the answer? It says the Yishalmi, the answer is Zorim no Rosh Mechit Tzachayev Gukor Marachin First, I mean First, we're going to go finish the question So here, if over here Yechayet means the wall is part of Rosh Hashanah right? So how can you say in the wall between the two Rishut it's like a Mokob Tour, there's no such thing Because why is there Rosh Hashanah next to it? Says the Gemara No, there it's different Come the Roy Kilo as a Kilo Malaya offered Tsroros. Is this the Shusayachin? Is it hollow? No, of course not. Looks hollow, right? Optical illusion. It's really full. It's full of offering Tsroros. It's as if this whole thing is full. And that's why the top of the wall is as if it's the top of a mound. And the mound itself is 4 by 4 Tsroros. Rishul Sariyoch is command the Malyo It's as if it's filled up of stuff and I'm building on top of a mount, not on top of it, not on top or in an airspace. That's why it's going to be Chayav and Shabbos. Is that clear? Okay. So, Tama Torah Sokilu Mle offered Tzoros, Vacham Aislucha. But here, very interesting. When it's between two Rishul Sariyoch in our case, between two Rishuris Hayachid. You don't look at it as if it's full that, that the two Rishuris Hayachid next to each side are full of um, are full of offer and throw rows. Why is that? Why do you think we don't have to look at it? It's not, not clear. I mean, the fortune deals with it, but why do you think you don't have to look at it? It's a wall between two Rishuris Hayachid. It's a Ray Rishuris Hayachid. But if it's a wall around the Shusayach, it's standing off Rishul Sarabi, what makes the wall itself a Rishul Sayyach? In other words, here in our case, it's with two courtyards next to each other. And there's a fence between the two of them. But the two courtyards are ready with Rishul Sayyach. So all you just do is ignore the fence. What? They're separate Rishuyos. The fence is really making it into two separate Rishuyos. Rishu, Rishu, so what? Me the rice makes no difference. It's still Rishuyos. When do I need to fill in Rishu Sayochit? Only when I have a problem with establishing Rishu Sayochit the rice on the perimeter. You don't have that problem because it's airspace. It's the truth is. Let me backtrack a minute. We all know I was just arriving. We were just saying, "Okay, we were just saying, 'Okay, I'll do Rakia,' right? If I stuck in here, if I stick this in here, even though it juts out, right? It's still Avi was just saying, 'Okay, right? It's still part of just saying, 'Okay.'" So the, 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 it's uh, why do I need to fill full of uh, offer and throws all together? What's the point? So the reason I need to fill it with offer and throws is because otherwise I would say, yes, that's true for something which is standing inside, but not the perimeter. In order to get the perimeter work, I have to fill it up. But here, if we have a shusayot over here and I have a shusayot over here, so in essence, if I put a fence between the two, it's like that pole in the middle of shusayot. It doesn't need to have command of Maya Damya. It doesn't have to look at the dirt as if it's covering the entire area. Because it's within Rishul Sayyachid. The only time I need to feel, look at it as if it's filled up is the perimeter of Rishul Sayyachid. I see you're not convinced by the argument. You're certainly not convinced. You look like you're in agony. I hear what you're saying. What about the back benches? What the floor are you saying? Yes. Let me see. Peach. 
So, so the uh, again, it depends. Yeah, where I, I only have to say it's mostly off from its sorrows when I need to make the wall itself for Shusha Yochim, the wall around an area. Or if it's a wall between two Rosh I don't have to make it. It's Rosh Hashanah by definition. It's within a larger perimeter of Rosh Hashanah. So therefore, in that case, I don't say that it's command the Maya Damya. It's a separate area between Rosh Hashanah. If it's a separate area between Rosh Hashanah, meaning, I shouldn't say separate area. I take that back. It's a misguided lotion. It's an area which is in Rosh Hashanah, which is shared by both. The fact that it's shared by both is to its detriment. That's why nobody can eat the fruit on top. Because nobody has a solid ownership of it. A wall would be the alternative, of course, make an air. But they can't make an air because it's too high. So they both have jurisdiction over it, but they can't make an air over it. So they're stuck in up the creek, they cannot eat the fruit on Chavez. Make sure to harvest before Chavez. Yes? The it's not called Rishus Rabbit, even the Raisa. It's called the Carmelist. You mean to say in public domain, which is not rectified by an Arab. In essence, that's what it is. Right. Even though it's a private domain. But Chazal said even private domains require air of it. Right? right? It's, not private. it's not exclusively private. And that's its problem. Okay? Says a word further. Teda, um, Lucha. Uh, you should know this is true. Now, this Raya, everybody goes crazy on what exactly the Raya is. That, so we're just going to go ahead and coordinate and change the gear so even though nobody else changes the gear so but hey what do we care tell you how you know this is true the mara be akhar be khalil be shema be akhar zizin uksalim if you have outcroppings in a wall like little pegs coming out of the wall or you have walls chain of iron sir which are 10 fucking high now here's where the gurkarmi comes in the ain on rekhavin our boy then our fourth fucking wide it's mutter for each one to use on his side as long as they don't switch sides okay so then, now that's okay the scenario over there is where it's Rosh Hashanah Rabbi and one side Rosh on the other side it's a classic Mokum tour it's more it's 10th volume high but less than 4th volume high it's a classic Mokum tour Welcome to her. Between Rosh Hashanah and Rosh Rabbim, the Rosh Hashanah people can use it, Rosh Hashanah people can use it, as long as they don't switch. But in our case, if it's Shaykh to both sides, it's bad. Because both sides here are Rosh Hashanah. And in order for them to carry, therefore, they have to make an error between the two of them, and they did not. When I have a one Rosh Hashanah, the other side is around, muck up to in the middle. Each side can use it without an Arab, because there's no such thing as an Arab, between Rosh Hashanah and Rosh Hashanah. A true Rosh Hashanah. But here, where the Rosh Hashanah is on both sides, yes, they both can use it, and that is to their detriment. That's what undermines them. Because since they're both using it without the benefit of an Arab, they can't do a thing. And that's why it's less than to be talking. Also, the kind of the kind, they're not even allowed to go up and eat on top of the wall. If it's fourth fucking wide the top, also it's a shush beef in the house, well, they can go up to the top and eat. But if it's less than four by fourth fucking wide, so they can't even go to the top of the wall, they can't do a thing. Okay? Rabbi Yochan, boy, Rabbi Yochan has a caution. Machapa, she does it right, but seems that Rabbi Bot switches opinion. Come on, Rabbi Bot! Rabbi Bot said, Rabbi Yochan, Rabbi Yochan, Rabbi Yochan, Zorka, Benocha, Rosh, and Mechit, it's Chayev. If you throw a thing and it lands on the top of a wall, as we said before, you're chayef, right? By the way, uh, the name of change gives it to Rabbi Hanan. It's a slightly different question than before. You throw it on top of the um, on top of the wall, you're chayef. Yet here, but here he says that if it's on top of the, um, it's on top of the. Um, Let's say that the two walls that the two walls are connected. 
let's say here, basically, let's say here that the Rosh Hashanah is going to marry a dummy, like, like I mentioned before, it's a possibility, and we reject it. So here's actually where we're going to reject it. Reject it. So it says, Hech mada tamar tamon at res on kriyum lay off of its rose. Oh, it's all part of the question. I made a mistake, sorry. Let's say the stating over here that's full of offered tours. I forgot. The Gemara itself addresses this question. I was anguishing over it with you a few moments ago. The Gemara itself asked the question, deals with it as I said before. That, uh, that let's say here that the, this wall also, why should be distinct from the from the Rishri around it? Let's say it's male, like as if it's Malaya offered tours. The same way we said Malaya offered its tours by the Rishusa Yochim and Rishusa Rabbi, let's say Malay offer a in the wall, which is in the middle of the Rishusa Yochim. Says the Gemara, Shamanu Mechitzos B'Rishusa Yochim, Shamanu Mechitzos B'Rishusa Rabbi. I'm not sure exactly how to uh, enunciate that line, but what it means to say is the exact opposite of what it seems as it says here. It says, Shamanu Mechitzos B'Rishusa Yochim, Shamanu Mechitzos B'Rishusa Rabbi, means the opposite. In other words, where do I say the mechitzas are become part and parcel? The same answer I did for Pnei Moshe says it here explicitly. Where do I say that it's as if it's full of offerings for us when the surrounding area is Shusa Rabin? And I need to make this in its entirety of Shusa Yochi, even the rim of the wall. In that case, I say it's as if it's Molly offer of its Roros, and it's all one Rishus. But here, where it's in the middle of Shusa Yochi, anywhere already, I don't have to say it's Molly Offer of its Roros. And therefore, what it remains is a strip in Rishus Ayachit, which is shark to both sides without the benefit of an air, and therefore neither of the people can use it. Okay? Rabbi Bar Rabbi Nushay Shmuel said, Kletzel Shikifu Sulamos Mikan, Umikan. You have a wall which has ladders on both sides. Marvin Shtaive, Marvin Echot. They can make two Arab and they can't make one Arab. Why? Because ladders are not considered to be like like an opening. They're not like an opening or or a window. However, I'm not being a boon. We came with shlo kivnu. It's only because the ladders are not directly opposite each other. Therefore, throwing the carbonata low nasub sochim, they don't become an opening. But if the ladders are directly opposite each other, it's okay. That's the direct contradiction. A to the Bavli, B to the Yushami at the end of the last last parak. The Bavli says that the ladders don't have to be opposite each other as long as there's a walkway which is fourth fucking wide on top of the wall you can have one ladder here walkway on top another ladder here it's good enough because that's continuous path picture in parish sky that's right so this argues because it says that ladders have to be opposite besides that though in the previous at the end of the previous parak we took this statement of Rabbi Bob, Rabbi Yudha, Rabbi Shmuel to mean that no matter where you put the ladders, it still is not a Pesach. He said, by a Goy who comes down, so then that's a Pesach, because it's got to come down from a second floor apartment to downstairs. But by these guys, it's not a Pesach, because who still will ever go up? So he said, it's not a Pesach. So how can you say it's a Pesach? So a lot of people just, you know, say, oh, okay, the Ushami argues it's a big deal. But not us. We will not settle for that. We will offer an alternate explanation. We will say, "I'm Rabbi Yosi Barabun. We came and we came and shelo kivnu nasub sochim." Here, kivnu, we kivnu. Everybody learns means directed, but we learn kavona as intent. Without changing the gear, so we'll say like this: When do they become sochim? If they didn't make them sochim dafka for Shabbos, if it's not a legal fiction. If it's not a legal fiction, then the presence of a ladder is if it is an opening, you can make one air between the two courtyards. We came a chalokiv nu nasub sochim. But if they're mechavin, if they're just putting up the ladders for that Shabbos as a aroma, as a ruse to connect the two chateras, that we do not permit. That's how, and that way, Yushami doesn't argue in the Bavli. It's just like the Bible. the Bible. We also agree. The ladder over here and the ladder over here. And the walkway, it's okay as long as they're permanently there. And we all, the Yushami doesn't argue on itself. Sean previous prayer was talking about where you put up the ladders in order to make out the Neiruf. That doesn't work. But where the ladder's there anyway, as a permanent part of the, 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 the scenery, then that does work. Okay? Says Yushami for the Tani. We learn. Ko Ko Sheikh all ramps. Ole Amo Vikoyne Sholosh. 
They go up Aaron Amon every three Amos. Now, the, the Pnei Moshe says, what's enough? We know, who cares? So it says, we want to know the sheer of ra- ramps in the base on Mikdash. Very shmach. Lieberman says, Pashit. Truth is, I'm, I, I'm upset that I needed Lieberman for this. It's Pashit. I, I figured out before I see Lieberman. That's what I meant. He says that the Nafkimina is, if, you need a, if you're not using a ladder, you're using a ramp, how steep the ramp can be. You're using a ramp to connect two courtyards, right, to go across the field. Uh, 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 top, how steep can the ramp be? So in the Mikdash, all the ramps were one Amos every three Amos, which is the equivalent of ten Tfachim in every five and a half Amos, which is a much more gradual gradient, gradient than normally is a wall. Of course, if it was much steeper than that, he wouldn't be able to walk, but uh, it, it's certainly less steep than what share of the walls, which would be absolutely no good. Except for the ramp that is back itself, it should be Chamesh Vishlish, not Shlishosh Vishlish, that should be Amos, not at Spos. Except for the Mizbech, where it's an even more gradual ramp, I guess because it carried heavy loads up. So instead of being 10 Tvachim every 5 Amos, it's 10 Tvachim every 5 and a half Amos. Shah Mizbech, SMO Amos, it was 10 Amos high, Vikibusho, Shloshim Mishtaim, and its ramp was 32 Amos. I know you all want to know exactly how the math works, but unfortunately I will have to end here and not do the math for you. Have a good evening.